Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna do a quick review on my takedown arrows that I um, that I purchased, um, and give you guys a little background as to you know why I got these and also you know what's the most cost-effective uh, you know method you know to buy them or make them yourself. Uh, so first things first. Um, this one right here is my first one. One of the first ones that I bought is uh, 32 inches long. Um, from you know from this end, um, I'm gonna take the tip off. To this end. So from end to end, it's 33 inches. Um, and then of course you got your screw on tips that you can purchase, you know, Walmart, Gander, uh, Rural King, Dick Sporting Goods, all that. Um, so I got those first and then after, you know, shooting them after a while, uh, they started kind of breaking, uh, mainly because I was, I didn't have like a set target. So I you know, was shooting a, a water bottle and behind it there was a bunch of rocks. So that caused it to uh, to wear a lot faster um, uh, due to the impact of the rocks so then I ended up uh, purchasing these uh, these are 32 inches long uh, same arrow uh, the first one I bought was a 55-75 the second one is uh, 35-55 and 35-55 you know all these numbers what they mean is you know, if you're gonna have a bow that pulls, you know, 60 pounds, you want to get something that's between 60, uh, 60 pounds, um, and then that just means that it'll flex uh, while it's in flight. Um, so I got those. Um, next is um, this is my I guess third set of arrows I ended up purchasing. I think it was like eight. Or nine, I can't remember the top of my head. Um, and I'll explain the tape here in a second. Um, so what I ended up doing is I went to uh, to Dave Canterbury's website um, to see how much you know the takedown arrows were, and they range. Uh, I think they were for a set of three arrows. You were looking at, I believe it was sixty dollars. Let me double check. Um, I'm eighty percent sure it was like sixty dollars. Um, if not, you can go to their website and check it out. Um, hunting, there you go. And they were takedown errors too. Yeah. So for a set of uh, three, uh, two piece, so like this, two piece takedown arrows, they were $60. So you were looking at, um, $240 if you wanted uh, a dozen takedown arrows, which is quite a lot of money. So $240. So the next option for me you know, because I didn't want to spend that much. Um, if you go to his website, it's called uh, the PathfinderStore.com. They got these uh, takedown arrow inserts, and they are these things right here. That's one end. Uh, there's the other one. So it's a two-piece uh, insert, uh, and then you pretty much just stick it in there and screw it on. And then you got one entire arrow. Um, they are eighteen dollars for a set of six. Yes, eighteen dollars for a set of six. I ended up paying about forty dollars. Uh, that included the shipping for a set of twelve of these takedown inserts. Um, and so that was a uh, you know forty dollars. Uh, so the next thing is I went to the uh, archery shop. Um, God, what the heck is this? 
It's like a piece of hair. I can't get out. There we go. Anyways, uh, so I went to the archery shop, um, and each arrow costs ten dollars. Um, and let's see what else. Each arrow costs ten dollars, so I bought twelve. So you know that was a hundred and twenty bucks. Um, so it's 120 bucks for 12 arrows. Um, and then it was an extra dollar for them to cut it in half and for them to glue the inserts on both ends. So uh, you're looking at uh, $132 plus $40 for the inserts. You're looking at uh, six. $172 for 12 takedown arrows um, versus the $240. So you're saving quite a bit of money if you buy the inserts. Um, now, if you want to save some money, um, I used to have a Dremel um, to cut my dog's nails, um, and I lost it And when I moved. Uh, so what I could have done and I'll see what you can do in the future if you know you want to do this uh, type of arrows is you can just buy one at Walmart it's like anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars and what you want to do is just cut them in half um, which is or if you have like a, a saw uh, electric saw not one of the hand saws but an electric saw you can do that too um, cut them in half and now uh, what I've done um, and this is just me it's and I'm no expert on arrows or anything but what I did is I put the screw in on the back end of the arrow and then I put the hollow in on the front of the arrow um, because the the tips that you're going to be using uh, you know they're like 125 grain I believe or the ones that I'm using uh, so you're going to have this on the front of the arrow, which is going to weigh it down. And if you're going to have this on the front section of the arrow, it's going to weigh it down even uh, more. So I kind of balanced it by putting the, you know, the, and it's not heavy, but the heavier uh, uh, half of the uh, arrow insert on the back and then the hollow one here in the front. Um, let's see. Also, what you want to do, and just real simple, just put it on there, screw it, and that's what it looks like. And then, that's what it looks like when you take it off. Um, what happens with these? Sorry, I got my black because I'm a little bit chilly. Uh, what happens with these is if you hit your target, you know, if you hit a tree or a squirrel or whatever it is you're hitting, uh, like a styrofoam tree and target, what you want to do is you don't want to pull it from the back. Uh, that's a big habit that I have is I pull it, you know, I grab it and I pull it back. Uh, what you want to do is you want to grab it from the front section and then pull it back. Um, um, because, and I think this is, you know, the, the guy that did the, the, the cut them for me and glued them together is, I have one where, uh, he didn't put it in entirely correct, so now the, um, one of the inserts ended up coming out. Uh, I was shooting it, and then I pulled it from the back, and then the insert that goes on the front section, came out along with it. Uh, so now I gotta uh, get some archery or some uh, arrow glue and kind of just glue it back on there. Um, so if you're gonna shoot your target, uh, don't grab it from you know the back because you know you got the inserts. Um, you want to grab it from the front. I've shot these already. Uh, I shot them about you know two actually I, I think I shot them about three or four dozen times. Um, and it was horrible. Um, 
and that was my fault. And that was because um, I, I had purchased this archery glove um, that I wanted to try out, and uh, it was horrible, and uh, I ended up uh, missing my target a lot of the time. Um, so that was a big, big screw up, which I'm not going to post a video, but I do plan on shooting them again um, to get better practice with these. Um, see what else other than that I mean if you guys are looking into getting some takedown arrows uh, please uh, you know make your own it's not gonna be a lot cheaper um, all you need is a cutting tool and the insert and that's it you can go to uh, to the store and purchase some arrows um, bring them home and then you know within the hour you can do like like a dozen of them uh, it's really uh, easy and simple. Um, you know, as far as the tips uh, go, they're just regular tips that you buy at your store, like Walmart. Now you can definitely put broadheads if you wanted to. Um, and so this is a good, uh, good idea if you like have a bongo bag um, that you want to take with you and you want like a. Uh, like with me, I have the uh, Primal Gear Unlimited um, Takedown um, bow that I still have. Uh, I love it. It's a great purchase. Um, and it's great, you know, if you want to be stealthy when you're hunting squirrels or rabbit or whatever you are hunting. Um, versus if you're going to shoot like a 12 gauge um, or a 22, unless like the silent, silence or 22, and that's the thing. So uh, the reason I put the tape on here is because um, I ended up losing one of them, and I didn't find it till like a week later, um, and it was a huge problem because it kept hitting like the like the bushes and and whatnot, and they're so well blent in, uh, as you guys can see here. Um, that once you hit it, you know it's really hard to find. Unless you can find, you know, the feathering, um, but still, even with that, I still have a lot of problems finding them. So I ended up getting this uh, neon orange tape, um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cover it and then cut strips off to kind of give it like a nice, you know, even. Um, I don't want to cover the entire arrow and tape. I just want to, uh, like strips like so. Like there's a gap right there, and you got tape, and then there's a gap right there. So I kind of want that. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, uh, PM me or leave me a comment. Um, but this is definitely going in my bubble bag. Uh, they're lightweight. Um, you can definitely make your own arrows. Um, you can use 550 uh, to. Um, to uh, make a, a string uh, or replace a string on your bow, and that primal gear uh, takedown bow, you know, weighs only five pounds, um, and it's very compact. Um, so that's why that's why I ended up getting that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share.